Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Channel Master Flat Tenna Indoor Antenna. It's a relatively inexpensive flat antenna that doesn't claim to be anything it's not, unlike many other flat antennas I reviewed in the past. How well does it work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If my videos have helped you cut the cord with an antenna, you can show your support by clicking the thanks button in the video. This is a new feature YouTube just released. So back to this antenna. The design is very comparable to most other flat antennas on the market. It's more optimized for the UHF band, which is RF channels 14 and above, but it can probably pick up RF channels 2 through 13 if the signal is strong enough. The antenna has a reversible finish. One side is black and one side is white to match any decor. Unlike most flat antennas out there that have a hair thin coax cable that won't even stand up on its own, this antenna actually comes with a thick RG6 cable. Now this is what I'm talking about. Just look at the difference between the two cables. The thick cable will prevent interference or signal loss compared to the hair thin cable on most flat antennas. The cable is also removable, so this is great if you end up needing to connect a longer cable if the best spot for the antenna happens to be beyond the range of the 10 foot cable included with the antenna. Channel Master sells a flat antenna both in a 35 mile version without an amplifier and a 50 mile version with an amplifier. I found that the amplifier actually made reception worse in my situation, so if you end up ordering the amplified version, make sure to try the antenna both with and without the amplifier connected, as sometimes an amplifier will make reception worse. So how well does this antenna work? I tested it out in a new location with a bunch of other indoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pin comp below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. Here are the stations I'll be testing out with this antenna, the RF channel they broadcast on, and the results of the last two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. There are three UHF channels and two VHF channels. You can also see the results of various other indoor antennas by checking out my other videos. The signal on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 21, was higher on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. WIOU on VHF channel 12 also had a higher signal level on this antenna than the last two antennas I tested out. So did WBRE on VHF channel 11, WOLF on UHF channel 22, and the antenna actually picked up the low-powered repeater of New Jersey PBS on UHF channel 27 with one of the highest signal levels of any indoor antenna I tested out. So this is actually one of the best flat antennas I tested out. It picked up all the high VHF channels very well and came with a high quality RG6 cable that's attachable. This gives a person the ability to connect a longer coaxial cable to this antenna and not compromise reception. This is definitely an indoor antenna I'd recommend if you want to try out an antenna for the first time, or if you already have a flat antenna that does not give you the best reception. After all, it worked better than most flat antennas I tested out. Whether you decide to purchase this antenna or another indoor antenna, it's critical to use some kind of signal meter as a guide to find the best location for it. Moving an antenna as low as a few feet can have a huge impact on reception, which I showed in a previous video of mine. You never want to just put an antenna in a random spot, move it around, and hope for the best. If you plan on using an indoor antenna, I'd highly recommend the Mediasonic Digital Converter Box. It has a signal meter that comes up if you press the info button twice, which is very helpful to find the best spot for an indoor antenna. I include a link to it along with an instructional video in the description of this video. If you receive an error message like this when trying to order, I also include a link to an alternative DTV box that should ship to your location. Keep in mind that all indoor antennas have their limitations depending on many factors, including your home's building material and how many trees are around your house. If you try this or another indoor antenna, use a signal meter, and still can't get all of your local channels reliably, 
you will likely need an attic or outdoor antenna setup. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations specific to your location on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your exact location, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, and tree coverage to determine what antenna would work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four different television markets. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. Don't forget the PA. If you are not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more antenna reviews and cord cutting tips and have an awesome day.